Welcome back, APOG. How's it going? Podcasting since 2012, I believe. Yeah, Whoa. 2012. We're coming up on our 10th year, January. That's a long time. In January, we enter our 10th year of podcasting. Ooh, boys. Pretty wild. Decade. We've got a really good episode here for you, a monumental one. A beloved video yes. game podcast is going away for good. EA, EA keeps that FIFA train rolling, kind of like Carl's beer. We've got contents of our pine glasses, our pint glasses, I should say, unless you're drinking out of a tree. And then Carl's got a Gardens, Guardians of the Galaxy review. Ooh. Oh, you know it. I'm Joel, your MC, recording in Brookfield, Wisconsin, USA, on a snowy November afternoon. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Some flakes are falling. Summer's kind of behind us here. At the homestead. Nice. I'm glad I'm not the only one with some uh, less than ideal weather conditions right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost Christmas. Come on. Totally. Right? 40, what, one more days-ish? No. Not, not that you're counting. No, ever. Joining me on this podcast journey, my two best mates, first of all, from Birmingham, England. He thought he was damned, but he's COVID-free. It's Carl. Do tell, Carl. Oh, well, just crack this beer. Oh, yeah. So I went to an indoor festival last weekend, and this is what we couldn't record last week, so my bad. Um, but I uh, went up to Leeds for Damnation Festival, and, um, you know, we went to Bloodstock, me and the boys, and we were like, yeah, you know, we were all right. We stayed at the back. We were responsible, you know, no crowds, thinking, you know, we, could, we're, we, won't, we won't get COVID out of this, right? So then... yeah. Roll it forward a few months, and we were thinking, "Yeah, let's go, let's go to Leeds University." And um, man, this thing was absolutely rammed, rammed. Nice. Mm. So Beautiful. again, yeah, Leeds you do University. Oh, mate, it's, yeah, it's a lovely campus, right? And um, it just gets taken over by heavy metal uh, fans for like for like the, 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 a couple of days. It's it's great, but um, you know, when you sort of you, you're doing your best, you you're hugging the back of you know, the room, you're like, "Oh, you know, trying not to get too busy." Get, there's like four stages, four rooms, and you, you kind of waiting at the front of one of them, deserted, no one around, brilliant. And like for a band that's on at like four in the afternoon, and then all of a sudden just starts getting a little busy, just starts getting a little, little close, you know. And um, turn around before you know it, the room is absolutely rammed to the rafters, <laughs> and band comes on, goes straight into it, and then uh, yeah, the, the mosh pit erupted in the whole of the the floor so every standing area was just a one big circle pin so it's like oh, okay well <laughs> managed to bat on my way through and uh and then try and try and get out of it but man i was i was so worried i was like coming on the car and i went on the way back thinking man this is the time gonna get it but got pinged on that pcr i had to go and get a test but whoa yeah yeah negative negative same as the other lads as well so maybe i've got some of that immunity that's going around not sure but uh yeah very lucky boy covid free woohoo Nice. Did, boy. did you feel? Did you feel kind of ill, or did you just go get tested sort of proactively? No, nah, I was totally fine. No symptoms whatsoever. But it, 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 it gets in your mind, though. You know, and you get that ping, and you think, you know, you've been in close proximity to someone with COVID. I was thinking, no shit. Oh, I bet I have. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. But, uh, and, and then I'm like, okay, so get, need to get that done. But it was. It's just one of them things, you know. Just, just luckily, the missus at the same time had had like three people at her work had all got here, and it was so oh, we wow. just both. Both doing the test center, getting you know, doing the old swab and drop, and oh god, it's horrible. But yeah, thank thank God, I haven't picked it up yet. I'm glad you made it through, man. And you guys got all the cool concerts, Damnation, yeah, Bloodstock. I mean, it's the the metal capital of the world. I'm learning. We used to, in Milwaukee. We used to have the Metal Fest. We we called it like the the premier metal event of the world. But uh, yeah, I don't think I think you guys got that on lockdown. I don't think Milwaukee had anything going on compared to Bloodstock and Damnation Fast and all the other ones that you guys got mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, we've got some good stuff. Sure do. From Vancouver, Canada. Let's not forget Shane over there. Whoa. Complete with raincoat. <clears throat> oh, man. What's going on, buddy? Unbelievable. 
it's just craziness, man. We got storms or, you know, in the fall, we always get some uh, pretty wicked storms. So we got a lot of wind. We got a, a lot of pelting rain. So it's just ugly. It was just ugly. So, you know, one of those uh, good weekends, we're glad we don't have to really go anywhere and just kind of hunker down, get some, uh, some nice tomato soup and a grilled Ooh. cheese or something, you know, some of that, some of that old fashioned, you know, bit of soul food. Yeah, that's what we're looking at right now, man. So, stormy weather, sit inside, play some video games, and do a podcast. Nothing beats a nice bowl of soup on a cold day. Am I right? Come on. You're styling there. My, my parents mm-hmm. come hang out last, came over and hung out last night. It was celebrating my stepfather's birthday. And my, nice. mom, my mom showed up with a big vat of chicken noodle soup that she, she made far Ooh. too much. She always does that. So she showed up with this just giant container of chicken noodle soup. So that, yeah, it's a soup day for me as well there, my friend, on a, on a blustery day here. That a boy. Well, in the news, a big podcast it's going away forever. <gasps> right? Yeah, I guess. Pretty guess, crazy. Guess which one? Any guesses? Oh, God, we've, we've already lost um, Giant Bum. They, they, they pretty much went, although oh, they, they came back under a new owner, but yeah, it's pretty much, uh, don't know, that was one of the bigger ones I've got. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Cheapest gamer, are they going? No, I don't think so. They're still showing up mm. in my feed. Shane, you got any guesses? Uh, uh, some I wish would go away. Um, yeah, <laughs> pl- plenty of those. K- Kotaku, maybe you know, maybe get that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, your favorite. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> it's us. We've decided yes. to call it, but we're going to go out on top. We're going to celebrate. No tears. No long-winded goodbyes. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call it. We're, Wait, going, we're going into, <laughs> <laughs> we're going Lots into, we're calling it phase two of ABOG. And believe it or not, phase two of ABOG does not involve recording. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Jinx. It's, it's uh, the it's, most uh, exclusive uh, podcast. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's something yeah, it's, that we, we've talked about this as the, the three of us have talked about this for what, six months to a year, probably kind of saw yeah. this coming, but we've kind of talked it through and decided all of us sort of feel the same way and now's a good time so we're going to do three more episodes after today this is episode 250 which is a landmark we'll Mm -hmm. do we'll do two more in this year a little bit of a break over the holiday and then we'll come back on january 2nd with episode 253 and it'll be our final show so we'll we'll get right farewell yeah make it into our 10th year exactly Give it that fresh, but yeah, fresh start. That was your idea, Shane. I think that's a good one. True, true. New yeah, beginnings. A long time, long time. A lot of episodes, countless hours, and there's a lot of you know people that do this and whatnot. And they just like, well, when it when it stops becoming fun, you know, it's time to time to hang them up. But this hasn't not ever been fun, and it would always be fun. But yeah. All good things come to an end, and it's time for the three of us to kind of yeah let it let ABOG go and yeah retired off. No more shows. And like the we'll we'll keep up. Social medias will still be up. Uh, we'll see what happens with them. How active they are. Um, we we have a lot of friends that we've met on our in our Discord, which obviously is not going anywhere. We've made made a lot of friends and continue that that'll ne- never end. But as far as doing the show, it's time for for all of us to you know just call it a day now. Before I guess it would might not be fun at some point, but yeah, now is now is the time. Now is the yeah. time we're. Riding off into the sunsets, get the get the mm-hmm. cowboy hats on, ready, boys. And um, it's a very different vibe, you know. The, the episode was it one fifty when we 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 packed it in before, and um, and I was going back and I listened to a couple of the old episodes, and I was listening to my first episode, and I was like, man, it's so so long ago now. <laughs> and, but you do, you know, you do come to that time, like we you know we, we're all we're, we're all getting older, apart from Shane, and um, it's one of those <laughs> things where it's like, man, I, I don't, I haven't had the same drive you know for video games and it just it th- there's other things that kind of take over the priority and 
much as I love hanging out with Shane and Joel and my brothers here, I, you know, that's that's why I do it. You know, we we do it just to chill out and have a beer and, and, and you know, we'd love doing this. We'd love doing this for you guys. Um, but, you know, like Shane says, all good, all good things have to come to an end at some point. And we, we, the three of us won't stop hanging out. You know, we won't stop doing this. It's just we won't be hitting that button and, and, and doing all the rest of it. So just some time for us, you know, just, uh, just the three amigos. Yeah, phase two is us uh, making sure that it's all about relationships. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Longtime listeners are probably sick of me saying this, but podcast is about relationships. And uh, the, that's, that's something that's going to, to maintain. So phase two is just the relationship part, not hitting the record part. So we're making com- a commitment to each other to continue to hang out probably every other week. A little bit more flexibility now since we're not putting out a consistent podcast, or at least trying to. And I'm, I'm with Carl. My, my, my gaming is sort of fizzling off a little bit. So we wanted to make sure we went out on top, so to speak, while we still were sharp about all the news and we're still playing our consoles. But at some point in the future, I, I personally was a little worried. I think you guys are maybe on the same page with me on this one, but a little worried that we mm-hmm. start to be out of touch a little bit more and not in, the, not in the loop on all the news. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want the show to exactly. suck, to suck. We want to go out on top, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, you only get so much time, right? Like, and I've this this past year has been a real busy year for me personally. Like, and I've you know I've not been able to interact with as many people as I would want to. You know, not not not, not be really present on Twitch and all these places. And you know, it, it's just one of them things. You know, you just it gradually you fall out of the routine of doing it, and then it's like, man, you know. And every now and again, I'm like, I really want to play a game. Like, and I'll talk about Guardians a bit later. This is one of them games. Couldn't put down. Loved it. Loved it. So I'm always going to play the games. But it's just not. I'm not always going to be playing them for every two weeks. Do you know what I mean? So it's the, the, the may well be months go by when I don't play a thing, and it's this is just the way of life now. Especially as a foster foster dog dad now, so <laughs> there ain't going to be much time um, for those things. But uh, but yeah, yeah, no tears, no 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 no. Uh, it's a very different vibe this time around, and um, and this will be the last time. Yes, and long time listeners will know that we've done this before. And we said goodbye and came back uh, twice, three times. I'm, I'm, em, I'm embarrassed how many times it's happened. No, just once. Just once. Okay. Yeah. Once. And it's just kind of. It was a l- little bit abrupt. And, and, you know, it was that, was, which made it, uh, you know, really tough, I think, I think for all of us. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're just at that point. And, you know, who knows? That'll give the three of us uh, some more time to, to game to, together three of us which we yeah. rarely ever get a chance to do <laughs> true so time zone kind differences of, uh, and everything yeah so it's been it, it, it'd be good who knows you know maybe even you might hear the three of us in a, streaming a game or something at some point who yeah. knows you know there you we'll, go we'll, cool. you know but yeah been it's been very very fun yeah. very fun it's been a fun ride a long fun ride 10 years Crazy. Yes. Yeah. Right. Still, a, still a couple of twists and turns to come. Like Joel said, a couple more episodes to come to you uh, for the rest of this year and then one in the new year. And, um, you know, if you've ever wanted to get involved, thought, man, I'm not going to get in touch. You know, I don't want to get in touch with the guys. But, you know, if you have ever thought about dropping us an email, dropping us a line, ever wanted us to talk about something in particular, um, or just want to throw us an email, throw us a question, tell us what you thought of the show all these years or whatever, you know, feel free, get in touch. And, um, yeah, we'll have a chat about it on the show. Why not? Yeah, that'd be great. We'd love to hear from all of you that haven't maybe reached out in the past and all of you that have that are maybe in our Discord community that we've met in person at like Midwest Gaming Classic or whatever. We'd love to hear from you. So reach out. Yeah, our, our Gmail, our email. It is a Gmail. It's abogpod at gmail.com. So that's the email address. You can also just pop into our Discord and leave a comment there. Of course, we're in there. I need to be more active in there, but we're there. Definitely during this this rundown here, the, the final countdown, we will stay plugged in. And I'll probably get more plugged into Discord, ironically, after the show is over. <laughs> I feel like right. I might, might have more capacity or something. I don't know. Yeah. 2012. Oh, yeah, we've got, we, we got three more episodes. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> three more. You know, let's, ce- let's celebrate. It'll we might. Be fun. Yeah. I think we're talking about keeping the feet up for a little while as well maybe a year oh, or yeah. so, so you can go back, listen to those prior episodes. I know I'd like to have that, just be able to yep. pop it up in my iTunes. I do have all the files, so I easily could go back, but 
So we'll see. Probably keep that up for a while. Maybe keep the website up for a while. Yeah. So if you want to go yeah, back, sure. check it out. For sure. Yeah. But get involved. And uh, what, what are we going to do the last three? We have, we talked, we've kicked around a few ideas. Yeah. Right. I, mean, I think the show's evolved over time, hasn't it? You know, we've done, we've done some stuff with music. We've, we've had like that at the beginning of the show, that at the end of the show. You know, we've, uh, we've had our, obviously our favorites this year. There won't be a favorites of the year this year, but perhaps there'll be a favorites of all time. Perhaps there'll be, uh, you know, our favorite parts of the shows, our favorite games that we've played, albums that we've, artists that we've discovered. I mean, I know I've discovered some great artists thanks to these two here, um, you know, over the years. Um, you know, and, and get involved as well. You can tell us. Tell us tell us what uh, your favorite parts were. And, uh, and uh, we'll, t- we'll, we'll surely, you know, talk about those. Yeah, I thought maybe we'd bring back the icebreaker. Remember that? Yeah. Oh little icebreaker we've, we've done we talked about music maybe we talked about another album or two i shake like carl you had an idea there maybe pick like our top three or top five yeah our favorite yeah, yeah. favorite albums we discovered from this show that the mm-hmm. uh, the other yes. two guys recommended that might be a fun one definitely got to get music back in some form before we finish her off and then the last right. episode who knows we're just going to be loose and see where see where it heads but have some fun and go out on top and celebrate right mm-hmm Absolutely. Only three right. episodes left, boys. Crazy, Fired up man. for that. You'll be there Christmas be morning. Like, man, just one more to go. Oh, it's it, it's, it's <laughs> going to be a treat. <laughs> it's probably going to yeah. be it's probably going to be heavy and wild, but we're we're going to try to not uh, have it be that way. <laughs> nah, that'd be good. That'd be my fault. Nail in the coffin. Rip. All right. Some other news. EA signs a ten-year deal with what is this? Fifth Pro? Fief Pro. Fief Pro. All right. Since I can't pronounce it, take it away. <laughs> yeah, right. we talked about on the last show, didn't we? Shane kind of dropped the bombshell at the end of the show that FIFA would lose in the rights to, uh, well, to the players. The, 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 their deal with EA Sports, their contract with EA Sports has ended. It is done. They're, they've done their, their final official game with EA. And that was the big, big thing. So, okay, well, what's going to happen next? So they're shopping around and whatnot. And it seems like FIFA just doesn't want to be exclusive to, you know, one company, especially somebody like EA, we'll say. Um, and then this news just, just came out over the past uh, week here that this, this FIFA pro that I know Carl knows all about, <laughs> they've signed a deal with EA. So they have a 10 year deal now to use the player names and likeliness so they can still use them yet that does not entitle clubs, club names or whatnot, which is kind of hmm. weird in a way. That is weird. So you're going to yeah, have... It's like, I mean, and, and for, for people who don't know football, years and years ago, uh, footballers, there was this, there was no thing called image rights. Right, which which is a huge thing nowadays. So, FIFA Pro is kind of like the union for footballers, if you know what I mean. So, it looks after their rights and their representation, um, and obviously licensing their image and all the rest of it, their their names and so forth. So, it doesn't cover all the clubs; uh, covers the majority of of them. But I think there's one or two, like Juventus, I think, which uh, see outside it, and a couple of others. But it does mean obviously that that EA will be able to, uh, you know, to keep using uh, these, uh, these likenesses uh, going forward, which is obviously good news if you like a bit of FIFA, which obviously Shane and myself do, uh, especially when you think about the, the mess that Konami's football game is now, that uh, Pro Evo uh, is, is, is just a disaster. <laughs> it, it's just a right mess. So I'm kind of glad that they've, that they've managed to wrangle this. So let me get this right. You can use the players' likenesses, but you can't use the clubs. So what are you going to have? Like all these players playing for a generic team with a generic name, but it's the, still the same players. And then you sort of figure out which club it is. No, the, the majority of all the clubs are on there. It includes like it's it's over sixty football associations worldwide. So each com each country wow. has their own football association. So the English FA, for example. So I think all the clubs under our under the English FA will be covered. It's just one or two in other countries around the world. I think there's only one or two standouts where they're not covered by the um, by the organisation. But for the most part, it's going to be absolutely fine. It won't be like Pro Evo when it was Aston Village and stuff like that. Nice. <laughs> 
Or just go by cities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of them were crazy. The Yorkshire Whites, I think, were Leeds United and stuff like that. It was, yeah, yeah, it was... But they, oh, that was half the fun because you could go through the player editor and just change all the names and, you know, figure out who was who. So right. what's FIFA going to do? If you're junior. What's FIFA going to do? Are they going to just give their, give their uh, license to someone else or what? Is that the plan, do you think? Yeah, they'll, they'll pimp it out to everybody, I guess. Just take, that'd be... take money and, and make a game. We'll, we'll, we're open to all mm. suitors. How much you want to pay us? Yeah, the the only thing that FIFA and UEFA love the most in the world is money. They don't care about anything else. Um, as you'll see when they're hosting World Cups in the likes of Qatar and Russia, where there is uh, very, very little football history, but it's all about what they've been paid uh, or bribed <clears throat> um, through mm. the back door. So, yeah, the, the, taking it away from EA solely and having and, and having it open to everybody uh, to kind of jump in and, and, uh, and pay them is, is what they want to do. I think we'll see a lot of mobile titles. Mm. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. Because outside of you know North America and well, parts of Europe and whatnot, that's the only way a lot of people game is through their phone yeah. rather than uh, consoles. The price of consoles could get pretty extreme. Just look at you know South America and whatnot. So mobile gaming is a lot bigger than uh, a lot of well, it's a necessity for a lot of folks, and you know so so having the you know. Bluetooth controllers and whatnot, and uh, you know, hook them up to your phone. It uh, just opens the door for uh, a lot of cash for FIFA. Mm. I wish the NFL would do the same. I wish they would stop working with EA and that complacent mess right. that is the Madden franchise. That it just needs new life. I miss like the 2K football, and it wasn't the same when 2K came out with all the retired players' names and. They they tried to to do something without that license. Now I don't know if the FIFA game from EA was anywhere near as as bad as the Madden is. Seems like FIFA was still pretty popular for EA, right? I mean, it sells super yeah. well. I, and the neighbor boys talk about it all the time. Still play it. Was that uh, yes. qu quality of the product still up there? Yeah, I mean, it, it gets uh, a few years ago, especially on the PS4. It, it had a few years where. The upgrades were massive, you know. They were kind of like it was, you know, not it wasn't like the Vita version where it was just like, oh, here's just new jerseys, that's it, uh, just like a squad update. Um, and, and uh, you know, on the latter the latter end of the PS4 and on the PS5, I think it has definitely had a, a nice little jump. Um, you know, it's uh, it's certainly just fine tuning now, really more than anything else. But uh, it does get better and better. Yeah, definitely solid solid title. So it's going to be be interesting. Sure will. Well, we're already on to what we've been drinking. I usually share right here how you can support us, but instead of doing that, I'll, I'll repeat what Carl said earlier. If you want to get in touch, send us an email, get involved with the show. We'd love to hear from you here in our last three episodes. Reminder what that email address is. Again, abogpod at gmail. Go to our website, abandagamers.com. There's a Discord link on there if you want to join up with our Discord server. Also in our show notes. So on your player there, you can click through and join our Discord server. But we would absolutely love to hear from you and include you as we go out on top here and celebrate our 10th year of ABOG, 10th and final year. Whew. And yeah. keep in touch. Keep in touch over there, you know, well, through our Discord especially. Yeah, Discord's a great, it's a great thing. I'm glad that, I'm glad that exists. No more forums. Just get a nice little handy app on your phone where you can keep in touch with people. We got music threads and beer threads and the humor thread. So much fun going on over there. Yeah. Well, let's, let's share what's in our pint glasses. Uh, I'm going to go first because I've got one that sort of ties in to, to the theme here. And, and you know what? It's not 1840. I stepped outside of the box, figured I would do a different brewery. This is Youngblood beer. It's out of Madison. Okay. Yeah, neat little can here. And it's, it's called Sad Ben Affleck. This is the name of the beer. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Love it. What a great name. It's a West Coast style double IPA. 8% dry hopped with Cascade, Centennial, and Columbus hops. Very delicious. I just love the name, right? Sad Ben Affleck. And uh, Carl. I wonder if it's a, wonder if it's a nod to... Like, because then, like, when him and uh, 
Jennifer Lopez split. Ah, he, yeah. he came out to, he was here in Vancouver and went like on a, on a bender for a week here and he was spotted at all the, you know, um, adult entertainment uh, facilities and, and so forth. Um, I wonder if that's a little nod to it being a West coast. I'd be able to, it's gotta be interesting. It's gotta be. I didn't even think I, did, I had no idea until you had, we, we talked about that. That's what I'm saying in our little thread text thread or whatever, but yeah, it's, it's gotta be, it's, it's very good. I like a good West coast IPA and this is, this is a good one, a little bit more of a, a hazier type of West coast. It's got some sent sentiment in it. As Shane would say beauty, but it's going down the glass. You can see it leaving, leaving the trail of the, of the, uh, the head as you go down there, the froth. What do you call that? I don't know. I don't know the technical term. It's good though. <laughs> Sad Ben Affleck. Young blood beer out of Madison, Wisconsin. Very delicious. Nice. I found a beer in the back of the fridge that I've forgotten about uh, from the summer and is still delicious. Uh, from a good friend's at Parallel 49 Brewing on Triumph Street in beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Medusa. Uh, triple berry sour. I was sitting there. It's like, yeah, a little straggler. Yeah, let's go with this. Good. Give me a little bit of sunshine on a on a stormy day. So decent six point seven percent. And uh yeah, it's beauty. Good one to have today. That's so spooky. I mean I, I, I'm not i I'm not sharing Here the beer we go. With you called Medusa, but if you if you check Shane, the last beer I checked in this afternoon was called Medusa. <gasps> M E M E D J U I C A. Yeah, oh, man, I wish I'd I wish I'd had it for the show now. That would have been much I'm, better. Um, oh man, come on! The same name as three shows left. The same name as, oh. as Shane's or Medusa? Without yours was Medusa also. Yeah, yeah. Medusa. M e d j u i c a. That's what Shane's is, right? Yeah, exactly, but different breweries. That was a vocation brew. All right, go yeah. to, go, go tell your boys there, Car or Shane. They got to go and they got to go after whoever stole their. Right? Stole their beer name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, um, I can't turn my, my, my guys of vocation uh, away. And it was one of their brews. Um, but I'm, I'm also drinking one of theirs, uh, Shock Horror. Uh, this is called Roll With It. Uh, Roll named, With It. Obviously named after the Oasis tune, right? And yeah. um, it's just a double dry hot pale, 5.2%. Um, nice and, nice and kind of light, you know. It, it's uh, just a nice session beer, really. And um, it's got a cool little picture of like a little toys or turtle or something. Running, running along with a skateboard, little cool dude. Nice. Yeah, it's quite funky. This, this is a really good, really good beer. And um, sometimes a lot of people ask me about what, what's kind of good beer to get into. Like if you don't, if you're new to craft ales and stuff, and it could be a bit of a pretentious thing, right? Like you can, you can, True. you can find a, 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 quite a few hipsters, like you know, oh yes, yes, it's rather, uh, rather toasty on the news and all that. Um, this is just like if you like a lager. Um, it's not too not too far away. Um, it's just a bit smoother, less kind of chemically, and you can actually get it in Tesco in the supermarket over here. Uh, normally, I just buy them straight from Vocation, but straight from the, the brewery, it's like two pound fifty a can. And if you can get it in Tesco, a four pack for six quid. So I'd get on these. Um, they probably oh, wow, won't be around for long. Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, like one pound fifty a can. It's it's a no brainer. Um, so stock up on it for Christmas, but uh, you'll see, boys. It's very, very oh. see-through. Um, just refreshing, boys. light, crispy. Um, you can pound a few of these, and you, and you don't really feel it either, which is grand. Um, yeah, they've really impressed me this year. Vocation does some great beers, so and no, no doubt I'll, I'll have to find something different for the last couple of episodes. Maybe sort out some special beers for these last. Yeah, three we're episodes. gonna have to bring it, boys. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we've got three shows left. We're we're thinking alike here. I was just thinking the exact same thing as you were talking, Carl. We gotta <gasps> we gotta sort of bring it. Maybe we bring it heavy. Last three episodes, right? Normally, oh, yeah. we, normally we keep it. We keep it. You know, we we stay focused. We keep our head in the game. Maybe we need to have an extra beer. Yeah, we can. <laughs> <lose, you know. laughs> yeah, ah, more. Yeah. It's like have a, like a I don't know like an eight percent minimum or something. We can we can do something. Oh. That's what I do. That's what, that's what I got. I got the eight percent out today. You guys got the five and a half and sixers. Mm. Let's go ten percent minimum, and it's got to be over ten. I do got a twelve in the fridge. I've been waiting. It's a uh, it's an eighteen forty cool. Italian drinking chocolate. It's a twelve percent. The one that almost oh, killed dude. Carl. <laughs> 
true yeah that's yeah the of that, that is <laughs> yeah, yeah i took i brought that beer to vancouver shane when we yeah. all hung out and that's the one that had See, the hazelnut in it yeah and i had no idea that carl had the hazelnut allergy so i really happily <laughs> poured the, it was fun right poured that between three glasses and we shared it and then carl right. you know carl's face swelled up the size of that turtle on that can and it was like oh crap <laughs> There's a problem here. Nah, no. Nah. He's like, is there a hazelnut in here? I feel my throat closing. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just a fun story to tell now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's why I did that. Well, raise, yes. raise them glasses, gentlemen. I got, I, I have the glass. I have the, uh, the young blood glass. I'm all in today. Mm. That's really cool. Yeah. But cheers to ABOG, to phase two of ABOG, which is going to, going to go on until the end of time. You're just not going to hear it. Yes. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Cheers. Fish. Cheers. Cheers yeah, nice thing about sign up to that Patreon. Nice thing about phase two is it's not going to end. <laughs> right. There's That's been a so lot true. of it's been a lot of moments that have you know it's it's it, it, for me at least it feels like kind of like our friendship took another level and whatnot, which I know sounds weird because I don't think a lot of podcasters really like a lot of their co-hosts or whatnot. It seems mm-hmm. like from at least from what I've heard, but uh, I think we got a rare, rare case where we all are absolute best mates. And like I said, there's certain, there's certain points like when we came back the first time at yeah, 150 and whatnot, it felt like, you know, we all kind of hit another level and then all meeting up and Joel and Carl meeting up and, you know, and it just seems, yeah, that was the time. It's, I remember, I, I remember recording that show, and um, and Joel was like, "We better still hang out. We better do this. I'm gonna, you know, if we don't, I'm gonna come around your houses and whatever." And then, literally, I think two years after that, I think I'd seen him. I'd been over and seen him twice. We'd come, you know, we'd all we'd come to Vancouver for shame. We all hung out, right. and and it was just like, you know, you you hit the nail on the head, bang on there. Like we don't, there's no drama with it. We just mates, and um, but when you when you do listen to some of the shows, like, and obviously we, we know between us, we know a lot of people and a lot of podcasts, and um. You know, it's not always that way. It's not always friendship and uh, and, and 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 sunshine and happiness. So, uh, yeah, just thankful for that, really, more than anything else. Right? Like, you know, love love my Sunday evenings with you, bro. Exactly. I, I pretty much said the same thing this time, right? Privately, I said, "Hey, we better still get together." That does. That, that was the hardest <laughs> thing oh, for me to going anywhere, man. This is the hardest thing for me in <clears throat> stopping the show. The only thing that worried me was making sure we find time for each other. It's the only thing that worried me. And these guys kept reassuring me, like, dude, we're still going to hang out. I'm like, okay. All right. That is the next time. For me, that's the absolute least of my worries. Absolute least, because we've become such great friends over the years. And I can only imagine that this is going to be another step. And, you know, it'll be everything else outside of video games. Not that it isn't now, but it's just going to have that more. I don't know. I don't know the word, but. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. We've had so much fun. And we got three episodes left. I know I keep saying that, but we got it's three still episodes left. Fun it's going to be, come, right? I, yeah. that we got it. <laughs> it's going to be great. Love it. it. Speaking of fun, I guess I should talk about a really fun game that I've been playing. Oh, I, I, I was going to put the uh, microphone to my stomach, who's making all sorts of gurgling noises over here. And- <laughs> chatting away hopefully that's not coming through on the on the podcast <laughs> oh, apparently my stomach has something to say about the 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 announcement of abog going away in three more episodes it's worried is worried that there's going to be no no beers on a sunday night is probably panicking uh no fair. no that's that's not going to happen that's <laughs> no danger right that's my that's my <laughs> least of least of my worries there is the uh the beer is never going to run out in the fridge that's the least of my worries <laughs> i'm into that uh you guys are the best Oh man! All right, yeah. Carl. Tell us Love about it. Guardians of the Galaxy. This is getting kind of like hitting. These reviews are kind of all over the board from what I've been reading mm. up. So I'm curious to get your thoughts on this one. Yeah, it's really weird because, and there's me talking about you know not having the the time or the inclination to play a lot of games, and a game comes out, and I'm like, yeah, I'll buy that for seventy quid and then finish it in a week. And um, but sometimes they hit. Sometimes they hit right, you know, and um. You know me; I'm a big comic book guy. I, I, I love them, um, as, as uh, I'm sure uh, Faye would attest to. Uh, after we've packed up, because we're moving out again, so we've packed up uh, <laughs> a load of boxes filled with uh, with graphic novels. And um, yeah, Gardens have always had a little place, a special place in my heart, really. And um, the recent 
movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe have kind of just broadened that and they've given the Guardians to a whole new generation of fans. And I was kind of worried when they made this that it would be a bit too much like the movies and not, you know, lean on the comics enough. And uh, I think they've got the balance just right. They've um, they've done a fantastic job of making a almost a Disney Plus series into a game um, by mm. giving a great story. Like, remember that Avengers game, Joel, that came out yeah. two years ago, two years ago, that Square Enix one? Mm-hmm. Um and you know, I played that, finished that. It was it was all right, you know, fun little story, but just not not a great game. Um, there's not actually as much combat in this game as you would think. It is it is a shooter, um, but it's more heavily leaning on the RPG side. It's a lot of walking, a lot of talking, a lot of interaction with the characters, and I think that's the main thing that kind of grabs you. That the story is very very good, uh, and it leans a lot more into the on the galactic side uh, of marvel um definitely guardians territory and with uh without spoiling anything for anyone there's certain characters in there which w- would be nice a nice surprise for you um and the way that they handle the interaction and the banter between the characters is just something that works incredibly well like you know you'll walk, be walking through a level and you've got stuff to do you're doing your thing and you just hear like rocket and Drax and Gamora just all chirping at each other, all having an argument, and then there'll just be something that triggers you to you've got to then pick a response, you know, like you would in kind of a Mass Effect style where you kind of pick, you know, a circle or square. What do you know? What do you want to do? Do you want to agree or do you want to disagree? Who do you want to back up? Do you want to wade in on the argument? Do you want to defuse it? Um, and it's constant, like it, it just feels like you're immersed in it. It feels like you are Star Lord, you know, you only play as Star Lord, you don't play as any of the other characters. But you do control them in battle, so you kind of you can upgrade them like an RPG. Really, you upgrade yourself, your abilities. Um, it's a, it's a bit complicated, but I'll come to that in a minute. Um, but in terms of the actual storyline and the character interaction, they nailed it. They really nailed it. It just feels like you're playing an episodic TV drama thing, and um, it's just superb. And there's a little level of depth in there, not huge in terms of the RPG side, where you, you can find collectibles. Uh, certain collectibles will relate to certain members of the team and then you can get back uh, on the Milano on your spaceship uh, and talk to them and you're like oh yeah I just found this dagger tracks you know what's what's this mean and you kind of have a whole little little bit of dialogue there and um, there are decisions that you make in the in the levels as you play through uh, where you can let things play out or you can interfere and depending on what you choose to do it affects the outcome of the story and how difficult things get and how easy you can make it by doing the right thing so yeah, they just did a really, really solid job of it. Really solid. So it's kind of like an RPG like game um, with a bit of shooting in there. Um, the combat itself is straightforward. Uh, got some spongy, bullet soaking enemies, which I don't like in any game. Ah, so it does Gears feel of like War. it just. Hmm? I said, ah, Gears of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Kind well, of like Gears. Like, you know, you're shooting somebody for about. 30 seconds before they die. Like, it's just one of those. Um, it's kind of annoying. But while you're also shooting and controlling Star-Lord, you then, when you hold down the one of the, the trigger button, you can then control the individual Guardians with a touch of the, the triangle or circle, you know, square, whatever, um, and, and like a double tap or a tap and then another button tap, depending on which ability you want to use, and that'll put use their special abilities. So it's very complicated <laughs> control uh, for for the other Guardians. And when it's in the heat of battle, and if you're playing on a higher difficulty level, that's a ball ache, <laughs> quite frankly. So you, you kind of have to adjust the difficulty just, just to get it to the right point where like it's a challenge, but it's not too, too bad. And um, that's where the game does really, really well. It's got a great accessibility menu. Um, you can pick a, a set difficulty level but then you can also tweak everything in that difficulty level to make it exactly how you want it so super super handy if you just want to play through the story and you don't want to be like, oh, you know, I don't want to worry about this that and the other you can just manage each individual thing and it works yeah it works really really well um, the soundtrack is amazing it, it also makes it feel like you are watching a Gardens of the Galaxy movie or you're taking part in this TV series. It's got a fully licensed soundtrack, uh, probably about some 20 odd songs on there, ranging from uh, Iron Maiden, uh, Motley Crue, uh, through to Rick Astley. Um, Rick Astley. And, and all, 
yeah, also it's got eighties in there. It's got a bit of uh, hair metal. It's it's it, you know the final countdowns in there, and it, it's just it's ironic, superb. It, it's 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 a great uh, way of kind of giving you that feeling like and if you if you like like say the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 the movie where little baby groups wandered around and he's dancing to a tune and that and the fight's going on in the background you do that in the game there's uh, if you press the triggers when you've built up a meter you get the Guardians into a huddle and you're like come on guys they've got to do this and if you follow the conversation pattern correctly and you and you and you hit it and and everyone's like yeah come on Peter let's let's get in there and, and finish them off then it triggers a random song from the playlist, which and it pumps it up well above the, val- the volume of everything else. So like nice. the song plays, you know, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's Motley Crue, and I'm playing, and I'm, and I'm you know, you get increased damage, and you it just it just has a little magic to it, and uh, it's something that I've not seen in a lot of games, you know. Yeah, just that's super it. cool. Yeah, yeah that's super sound cool. cool. It's really cool. And then when you're on the Milano, when you're on the ship, like you can just access the music on the jukebox, just play what you like in the background uh, and do it that way. So, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. It, it's a really good-looking game. Um, I do think that, that it was probably released a little bit earlier. There's a couple of things with where graphically it'll leave like an artifact on the screen. Like, you know, if, you, if you've got to press the triangle button and do something, you know, I've had a couple of instances where I've come away and the triangle button's still stuck in the middle of the screen and nothing gets rid of it uh, until the next next cutscene loads or whatever it might be. Um, so that kind of sucks. It's just one or two little things like that and a bit of popping and things like that, which you don't expect to see um, in a 70 quid game for sure. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't detract from it. It doesn't make it, uh, you know, not enjoyable. Um, the main drawbacks for me was that there's no run button, which drove me mad. <laughs> Because, you know, you want to explore, you want to find the collectibles and things like that, and there's no sprint button. So it, it, it's, you're kind of just pondering around, you know, and, and it, it does feel like that after a little while. Um, and yeah, just a little bit in terms of interacting with the enemies, you know, picking up power up. Sometimes you're pressing the button a couple of times, it doesn't quite catch the first time to, to, to pick up something off the floor and things like that. So definitely one or two little bugs in there. I think they can probably patch those. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really, really enjoyed this game. I, I thought, you know, it was my birthday. I thought, yeah, I'll treat myself, pick up a new game, and um, you know, comic book games are my jam. So why not? Uh, and yeah, I've had so much fun with it. Really did have a lot of fun with it. And um, you know, if we were doing the favourites of the year this for this year, this would probably be up there. You know, it's it's a solid eight out of ten. Wow. It is. Yeah, it's it's a really really good effort. And, and I think at a time when all these comic book games have come out and. You know, some of them are really, really miss rather than here. This is uh, really fun, really good fun, and just, just well polished. Do you think someone like me and and uh, Shane, who aren't really into the Marvel universe, would appreciate this game? Is it fun as a game, or is it all about that the story and the comic book side that really kind of kept you going? I think even if you're not madly into the comics, uh, the dialogue is done really well. So that. It, I guess you've got to kind of like the characters to 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 appreciate the banter that goes back and forth, and the constant chirping in the background. Like I, I found it quite int- quite fun, you know. If you if you like the the, the way that they interact in the movies, uh, you know, and you can just hear like Rocket will be slagging Drax off to Groot, and they'll just be talking between them too, and like Dr- Groot will just be saying, "I am Groot" all the time. And Rocket will be laughing, like, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. And Drax will be like, oh, what are you talking about? Like, it, it just this stuff just constantly goes on the, through the whole thing. And it just, you know, I think for me, it's one of the things that makes it great. But if you, if you don't have an affinity for the characters, it's probably not going to hit as, as hard, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm just the, the combat. Is it is fun enough if you don't have an affinity for the characters? Because the, yeah, mu- the combat's the, fine. The music parts, that sounds really cool. I like what you described with the music. The licensed tracks. Does it get old? Do you do you hear the same Motley Crue tune like too many times, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> right? It's possible? just it's yes, it's, it is, it's, yeah, it's very, just the right yes. amount of it's <laughs> it's just the right amount of of tracks on there for the length of the game. Like the game's probably I don't know, maybe around eighteen or maybe eighteen hours, something like that. Fifteen, eighteen hours. I mean, I, I found a lot of collectibles. It's probably you probably do it in twelve hours if you didn't want to find everything. Um. And I went through, and I wasn't particularly looking for completionists or anything like that. And I think I finished it, and I was on eighty-seven percent 
of the trophy. So it's pr- it might actually be a fairly straightforward platinum if you if if you if you make sure you get the the missable ones. Um, but the tunes don't get old, I think, because it's it's the length of the game that works. Like if it was a hundred hour RPG, you sure they get old because you they'd be constantly recycled. But um, you don't hear them all the time in the game. It's just when you you know you do use that power up or when you're on the ship. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's uh, enough of a mix for sure. Cool. Mm. Yeah, surprised. Very surprised about this. And I saw Shane on your your Facebook. I think you were doing some Battlefield twenty forty two, and I saw some Grand Theft uh, Trilogy, and what else? You I saw some other stuff too. I think right. Yeah, I picked up that uh, the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition that came out. Yeah, that a lot of people are having some uh, difficulties with. Why they but having difficult? It, it, I, this, this is where I'm already getting out of touch here, and why we're stopping. And maybe three, maybe three episodes. Why are they having difficulties with the game? Um, it seems like uh, San Andreas is having a lot of bugs. Oh, um, okay. Luckily, I haven't. I'm not a big fan of San Andreas. I, I really liked Vice City. That was probably my favorite. So that's the one I've been playing, <laughs> and it's been it's really good. It's really good. It's pretty. The controls are much more modern. They're not nearly as as clunky as the, you know, going back and playing them like the PS2 or even um, the ones that were on the PS4, where the controls are a little bit better on the on like the PS4 era ones that they came out with. But these this one's nice. It plays plays a lot better. But it's the best they they play in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's it's so cool. But yet it still has, you know, kind of that. Uh, nostalgia and certain charm that is, you know, from those sandbox games, those GTA games, that feel is still there. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot more uh, accessible, we'll say, right now. And it's pretty. It looks good. looks really good. Nice. So, Yeah, I think there's something about them sandbox games which helps them age well. The fact that you can do whatever you want rather than have to go down this linear path, those seem to age better. Than more of the linear games, ten years after, twenty years after, definitely. And GTA Three is also in there as well, which is you know landmark that you know kind of started it all. Oh yeah, and that's always a great game to go back and play a little bit of. But yeah, so it's, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying Vice City as I always do, and maybe I'll fire up uh, San Andreas at some point and see kind of what's what's kind of going on, what the deal is, but. It's when they started getting into like having to get your character to go work out and eat and whatnot, and it's just like a little bit too much. Like, yeah, I could just go do that, but I don't want to, and I don't want it in a video game. So it was yeah. never, I could never really get into that one too much. Even though I mean, it's obviously it's you know probably touted as one of the greatest games of all time. What they introduced, I just think, I think they fine tune that with GTA Four, and uh, they really. That's probably the GTA Four, the best Grand Theft Auto game. Might be. It's got, it's got to be. The characters in that game are just amazing, right? It's so well written. Like, no idea. Yeah. Oh man, I, ne- I never played one for more than like three hours, four hours. True. Well, then you didn't get to the good characters in four. Exactly. Uh, maybe not. I think I got as far as go. Like I had to take someone on a date or something like that, Ooh. and I was like, "No, nah, screw this." Hot coffee. Probably like three. No, no, not hot coffee. <laughs> yeah, but like I yeah, see, like, you played long enough to know the hot coffee. No, no, I just watched it on YouTube. Um, <clears> but <throat> he, uh, <laughs> but I think it was like three, yeah, three or four hours in, and I was just like, I, I don't know. It just, it, it's never ever. And, and this might be something I'll do in the future. I'm sure, play through one. I mean, I own them, but um, it's just not not really got stuck with them and, um, and played through them. I think the furthest I've ever got through one is in five. I think I got probably reasonably far in five. But again, just put them down and play something else. I'm, I'm getting confused here. Five is this my favorite. Five I got pretty far. But I've never finished, never finished one of those games. I finished both of the Red Deads, but never got all the way through a Grand Theft. I don't know, I just get bored with it after a while. It's fun. I like, I, I like, it's more of the sandbox aspect that I dig. The story has yeah. never glued me in. All right, here's a question. Red Dead or Grand Theft Auto? You only get one. What you going with? I'm, I'm going Red Dead. 
between those two, for me, it's been Red Dead. That's been my favorite of those two franchises. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Just a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, just a lot more. uh, So many great memories. You know, I think that's why I love Vice City so much is, like, I remember, like, opening weekend, I guess. I guess it's not really opening, but like the launch weekend and renting it from the store and you could only rent it for like two days or something. So mm-hmm. it would just play all weekend and it had to, you know, I had to be back, you know, Sunday night or Monday morning or some, some shit. And yeah, just so many fond memories of playing that game. And that's why I always love going back to it and playing it. And then when there's a new version that comes out and I buy it and yeah. Yeah. GTA for me, man. I didn't hear your answer, Carl. You got you to pick between those two? I think I'd pick the ironing out of the two. Um, yeah, Red Dead. Ironing, yeah. I, 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 I kind of, yeah, to be fair, I played a chunk of uh, Red Dead 2. I didn't play much of one. In fact, I don't think I played it at all until Red Dead 2 had been announced and I went back and played kind of the beginning bit of Red Dead. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I put a good 40 hours into Red Dead 2, I think, before... My Xbox One X froze and crashed, and I lost all my progress. And then I did another fifteen hours, perhaps. Wow. Um, so, so I think I probably, I think I kind of what act I was in, but um, act three, no, nice, probably I'd, around yeah. that forty I'd hours. Just, or so. Yeah, I'd kind of got away from the initial, not the snow bit, not the bit after. Like I'd done all that, and then you move to another yeah, yeah. place, and it was kind of the first built up town the first oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's almost like a city i suppose what well, the equivalent would have been hey. so i kind of got to there um Decent. and then and then oh, yeah and i just like ah, i've done enough and nothing seems to be happening but um so I, I guess if i had to say i'd probably pick red dead out of the two purely because i've spent more probably. time uh, in that world but starting it over and ironing yeah, yeah yeah it was a great game to do the ironing with to be fair i did enjoy that right <laughs> It's good when you can combine the yeah, two, another. you know, combine oh, the video yeah. game playing with ironing. It's uh it's uh just put that on the back of the box. You can do your ironing while playing this game. Right? You no, know, some four out of five irons. <laughs> 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 Did you ever burn your clothes trying to iron while playing something? Nah. No. I'm a pro. I've been on on since I was a little kid, to be fair. So it's uh too old. I would domesticated. Like yeah, my mum taught me and our kid like to, nice. you know, we could cook, clean, wash, and iron by the time we was like fourteen, which it blows my mind because like Luke, Luke, Luke's fourteen, he doesn't have to do bloody anything. But uh, <laughs> well, actually, no, it's not true. No, just play video games for sure. Kids, uh, what is he now? What's what's above platinum? Not, no, not diamond. The one above diamond. He's a champion in Rocket League now. Oh wow, wow, yeah, jinx. <laughs> yeah. And we play online a couple of times a week, and I'm like, is and he he, he 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 doesn't want to say, "Dad, you suck at this game." Um, and I don't. So I'm you know, and I'm, I'm platinum ranked. I'm not terrible, um, but my aerial skills are not as good as the boys. So uh, yeah, he's definitely got some pros pros there. But uh, he also had um, a school appraisal actually the other week, and uh, he's uh, he's doing brilliantly in music, which uh, so I'll take me hat off to him there. He's um, nice. yeah. Nice. I'm from like an A star or whatever the equivalent is, and I had GCC now. So yeah, great little keyboard player. Bless him. So. Love it. I was going to ask what he plays. Keyboards. It get, like, gets on a piano, too? Like a big grand yeah, and, a little, and band? Uh, no, well, he's got an electric piano at home, and I think he plays on uh, electric one at school as well. So they've just started doing like little group projects where they all play together. Um, and they each, each have play an instrument and they perform a song. Like, so it's, it's starting to get real, you know, in terms of playing in front of people and stuff like that. So, yeah, bless him. Runs in the family. Nice. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Because you're proud. That was a that was a good episode. Lots of games to play yet before we we close her down in three episodes. Hmm. I want to check out that Forts of Five. So hopefully, I have some time out with nice. that, and then we can talk, to Carl, maybe about that one some more. I want to hear yeah. more about uh, Battlefield, Shane. After it's out, yeah. After the, the actual... just got my feet wet in it, and I'm pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I'll get some more time in it. Good. I'm already, uh, already enjoying it so far. There's some uh, some neat stuff. Again, reach out. We'd love to hear from you. These last three episodes, abogpod at gmail.com. Give us a line. What do you want to hear about? 
What do you want to reminisce about? Hmm. Anything you got to say? A beer to recommend? An album to recommend? I mean, we're going to go back to some music, so... You know, there's a chance we pick your album and I'll review it. I mean, who knows, right? Just reach out. Yeah. Let's, let's see where it takes us. Let's well, see. Last chance. Yeah, yeah. Last chance. Shows are closing soon. So, yeah, get in touch. And, um, yeah, if there's anything you want us to talk about that you think we'd like us to talk about, you know, feel free. We'll, we'll discuss it. We'll be back with you in two weeks. We're going to be every two weeks until Christmas where we'll have an extra week off. Yeah. And then we will return with the final episode. 253 the finale. the finale on january 2nd guaranteed to have well not guaranteed but well something something's gonna happen in that episode it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good There'll one be beers mm-hmm. yeah the beers we gotta leave our stamp on Lots the internet we gotta go out and we gotta go out in style right we gotta <laughs> right gotta lay it down draw the line in the mm-hmm. sand like this is the last day bog it's gonna sit there for a year maybe so we have yeah. to we have to do something Leave it all. Leave it all out. Leave it all out on the pitch. Let's just air all our dirty laundry. Let's just cut yeah, yeah, cut on people it, it. and all. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking like, how, how many people can Ching piss off on one episode, and then we'll put it behind a paywall of like you know a thousand dollars or something. Oh God! <laughs> wow! Put it behind a Patreon. Oh man! No, no. That that's that's no. a whole new show. That is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's uh, that's man. the that's the trick here, right? We're not really going away. We're just going to put a paywall up and yeah. We, we, we want to make the millions. Yeah, it comes ABOG 2.0. Episode <laughs> one. <laughs> Thousand bucks an episode. $30 a month. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Completely joking, of oh, course. Man. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for listening. We'll be back with you in, t- in two weeks. Until then, three more. See you in two weeks. Two weeks. We do that at work when somebody has to go into the boss's office to ask him or whatever. We all just start chanting two weeks, two, two weeks. weeks. <laughs> I love it. Oh, like old panic man. You guys have way right. too much fun of your work. That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we just don't give it. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. Two there. weeks. Right. It's not like in England we get away with where Carl gives like twenty eight weeks when he quits a job. Like over there, that 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 tradition. It's two oh, weeks here in the gosh. states. Too shame. We do two weeks. Yeah. When someone quits. Yeah. For Carl in England, it's like. Two weeks plus yeah. a week for every year you work there or something. What's that tradition over there, Carl? Yeah, it's crazy. I, 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 yeah, it's it it's, it depends on who you work for. I mean, my notice period is three months. So if I if I am a notice, I've got to wait three months. So wow, who do you work I'm for? Just, I'm just really difficult to replace. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Oh, you could have <laughs> ended it difficult. Um, <laughs> dude, this is gonna be a fun few episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know it. You it's know it. Be, Right. <laughs> oh, oh, pleasure well. as always, boys. For sure. Thank you all. Until next time. Later. Bye. Later. <laughs> <laughs>